Hello everyone and welcome to the Getting Started series on Adobe Premiere Rush CC. Rush is Adobe's first all-in-one video app that allows you to edit and share videos quickly and easily from your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Rush includes the power of Adobe Pro Tools and within it, you can edit, color correct, record and clean up audio, customize animated titles and graphics, and publish to social media all in one tool. Just like Premiere Pro CC, Rush includes built-in access to professionally designed motion graphics templates, and you can also find hundreds more in Adobe stock. Just select the template you want, customize to your liking, and your project is nearly done. Rush is for the mobile and fast-paced video creator. Your Rush project is saved in the cloud, so when you make an update on one device, those changes are reflected across all your devices through automatic project syncing. Your mobile app version of Rush has all the same features as your desktop app, so you really can do everything on a tablet or mobile phone as you would on your desktop. So what's exactly included in Rush? When you first open up Rush, you are given an interactive step-by-step -step tour of how to create, edit, and share your very first project so you can get started. And from there, you will also be able to capture or import media to start your first project. And once you've selected all your media, you can edit in your timeline by trimming clips or rearranging them to build your story. With Rush, you can make the same video in all the different social aspect ratios, portrait, square, or landscape, simply by clicking a button. It's pretty awesome. And after you have all your video clips in place, you can also add your own style with things like customized motion graphics templates, transitions, and some unique color filters. And the last step before you finish the project is audio. In Rush, you can record a voiceover directly in the app and then also use the audio panel to make it sound clear and professional. And in Rush, you can do more than just export your video. You can export and share your video directly to your favorite social media channels using Rush's brilliant social presets and publishing features. Rush gives you the power and flexibility to pump out content fast and frequently. So what are you waiting for? Try Rush today. In this video, you will get a tour of the Rush interface. When you open up Rush, you will see all of your current projects available in the project browser. So whether they were created on your mobile device or on your desktop, all of the projects will be synced to the cloud so you can pick up where you left off from any device. You also have the option at any time to turn off this syncing from this project browser. To start a project, simply click on the blue Create a New Project button. And from here, you are taken to the media browser where you can select the media you are going to use in your project. This can be video, images, or audio. And it's important to note that media is selected and added in the order that you select them. So you can preview how your project will be laid out in the timeline at the bottom of this screen. So in a sense, when you're selecting this media, it can help you build your story from the get go. Of course, you can always reorder these clips in the next stage in the editing timeline. Lastly, give your project a name here and then we're ready to begin editing. Now this is your editing workspace. On the left, there is a blue plus button, and here you can add more elements such as titles, more media, like videos or music, or here you can even record a voiceover. And below this, you will find a box icon. This will open up your project panel, and here you will see all the media you selected for your project. And you can hover over this media to scrub through and preview it. And when you select the clip, you can also add it to your timeline by hitting that blue add button. And once you're done with this project panel and want to close it, just click back on the box icon and it shrinks away. And also up here is the home button. And if you click on this, it'll take you back to the project browser. And this is where you can select another project that you're working on, or we can go back to the current one that we're editing just by clicking on it. All right, so now let's go over the preview monitor and controls. So here we can actually move this blue dot and you will see a preview of your video at the time code. You will see that as you move this blue dot, it will also move the playhead in the timeline 
and it will indicate the exact time code where it's at. And next to this time code, you will see another number, and this is the entire duration of your video. You can also use these playback controls to move within your video. And also just a reminder, if you hover over any button, it will bring up a friendly tip that describes what the button can do and also shows the keyboard shortcut if there is one. Next to the playback controls, you can hit this full screen icon to make your playback monitor full screen and then tap it again to minimize it. And next to full screen is the loop playback button. Click on this if you want your video to play again after it's finished and continuously loop. Now next to this button is the most important. You can change the aspect ratio. After you click it, you can change the video's orientation. Right now it's landscape because Rush sets the aspect ratio based on your source media, but you can always change it to a different one. So for example, if you click on square, it will automatically change your orientation to a square aspect ratio. And then you can choose portrait if you want to create a vertical video, let's say for IGTV. So this is one of Rush's most unique features that I'm super excited about. So I'm going to change it back to landscape as this will be for YouTube. So now that you have a tour of the workspace and your project is set up, it's time to move on to editing in the next section. Now it's time to move on to editing and customizing. You will find your editing and timeline tools on the bottom left of the screen. You can move your playhead to a point you want to cut. And if you hit the scissors icon, you can split that clip into two separate clips. And if you need to duplicate a clip, you can select it, then hit this duplicate button. And if you ever need to delete anything, select it and then just hit this trash icon. It's also super easy to rearrange clips inside of Rush's timeline. Just click and drag clips to rearrange them. And as you do this, the clips respond by automatically shifting over. And by dragging the orange handles at the end of each clip, you can shorten or lengthen a clip. So if a clip has more video in it, you can drag it out to reveal more of that video clip. Or if you wanna cut out some of that video, you can drag it to the left. And there are a couple other timeline tools that you should know about. For example, if you click on the expand audio icon in the lower left, it will reveal the audio associated with your video clip. And when you do this, you can shorten or lengthen the audio separately from the video portion. You can also see that Rush has placed icons on some of the audio clips here in the timeline. So what Rush has done is it's identified what type of audio automatically that you have in your timeline. For example, you might see a music icon or a voice icon. So this will enable you to easily identify what type of audio you have and optimize it so it sounds better. And below the expand audio icon is the track controls icon. Turning this on will reveal the track controls. So this lets you lock, mute, or even hide entire tracks in the timeline. And Rush supports up to four video tracks and three audio tracks. And at the very bottom here, you can move this bar to scroll through the timeline quickly, and you can grab the circles on the end of this bar so you can zoom in and out of the timeline. So once you're done rearranging and editing your video, you can then use Rush's refinement tools on the right to add finishing touches. If you click on titles here, you can choose one of Rush's awesome built-in title templates to use in your video. In part four, I'll be going into depth on titles. So let's move on to the next item, transitions. You can drag one of these preset transitions between two clips to create a clean fluid transition between them. And below transitions are color presets. You can click on the clip that you want from the timeline and then select a color preset of your choice. And at the bottom, you can control the intensity of that preset with the slider. You can also have further color customization control by clicking on this edit tab. Then next is audio. So the audio tools here let you control the overall clip volume if you need to. And there's lots of advanced controls as well. So for example, if you have a music clip in your timeline, if you select it and under advanced, you can choose auto duck and the music volume will then automatically lower against any other audio types like voice that you have in your timeline. So you can move the slider 
to adjust how much you want the music to duck in volume. And if you look closely after the process is done in the music track, you can see there are shadow dips so indicating the points at which the music automatically ducked. So this is extremely useful for helping you edit fast and getting your video out the door. And the last refinement tool here are the transform tools. Here you can control the position, rotation, and scale of the clip just using these sliders. But if you click on the clip in the monitor, you can actually make adjustments just by moving and resizing the blue handles. And under advanced, you can use the crop tools to crop the top bottom 